What's up Smart Homers, my name's Aaron, and in this video, I wanna show you the brand new Smart Lock from Akara, the Smart Lock U50. This new lock is a budget version of its bigger brother, the U100 Smart Lock. It supports Matter over Zigbee when you connect it to a compatible Akara hub, and with the hub, it works with Google and Amazon Assistants. It also works with Apple Home and HomeKey, and you guessed it, Home Assistant. The main thing that it's lacking that the U100 does have is a fingerprint reader. Out of the box, you get the front and back of the lock itself, the deadbolt and various strike plates for different existing configurations, a mounting plate and screws, two physical Akara keys, which is nice, and the four AA batteries that give it power. The installation is super basic, pretty much the same as most smart locks are today. And you guys know I've tested a ton of them in my smart lock comparison video. You're just installing the new deadbolt and strike plate, installing the outside part of the lock with the mounting plate, and then installing the inside part with a couple screws. Then you put in the batteries and walk through the setup. The whole process took me 20 minutes or so. This lock has two wireless protocols, Bluetooth and Zigbee. The app just sets up the lock via Bluetooth first. And if you want, in the app, you can bind it to the Akara Hub, really pairing it with the Akara Hub, which has a Zigbee radio. This allows the device to communicate via Matter with plenty of other smart home platforms. And it also gives a bunch of extra options in the Akara app. So let me just go over a couple of the features quick, and then I'll show you how it works in Home Assistant. First, I think the look is really nice. That matte finish really does seem to prevent fingerprints, and it looks really good. The numbers are nice and bright, but they're not too bright, which is nice. And you have to use a code that is at least six digits long, which is different than what I'm used to because typically four was enough. This is the first lock that I used that supports Apple HomeKey. And while I'm not using an iPhone as my daily driver, not really a huge iPhone fan, this half made me want to switch. If you connect the lock to Apple Home, you get the option to set up HomeKey and allows you to hold your phone up to the lock and it'll just open. I assume this uses some sort of NFC communication in the phone, and it was pretty fun to use. If you have an Apple Watch, you can also use that to hold it up to the lock and unlock it that way as well. Another feature I like is door sense. It can sense whether or not the door is open or closed. Like other locks that I've tested in the past, and the one that was installed here, the U-Bolt Pro, required a magnet to be mounted on the door frame so that the lock can sense that magnet when the door is closed and it knows it's closed. Akara says they put a gyroscope in their lock, and once it's calibrated, it can actually detect whether or not the door is open or closed. For my testing, it's been pretty reliable, but I have read some complaints about the U100 that it wasn't always reliable. Knowing whether the door is open or closed allows you to have it automatically lock the door when the door is shut. You can actually set a delay for if you want it to lock right away or wait a certain number of seconds. Although increasing the number of ways that you have to unlock a lock also increases the security risk. I love that it can be unlocked in five ways. There's the keypad, the physical key, Apple Home key, NFC, and remotely, of course, via different methods, either by voice or by phone. One other feature that I really like, and it should be on every smart lock, is the USB-C port that's on the underside of the lock, which allows you to give it emergency power so that you can get into your house if the battery dies for some reason. If you recall, the Yale Assure, that is my favorite lock of all time, had two little terminals on the bottom that you could put a nine volt battery against and that would power it. But these days, USB power banks are almost as common or more common than nine volt batteries. So I think I like this a little better. Now, like I mentioned before, the Akara hub is required for things like door sense and auto locking as well as some other features, but it isn't required for the basic use of the lock, like setting up codes and things like that, because this device works via Bluetooth. Since it has Bluetooth, it can be added directly to Apple Home via Bluetooth without the hub. And since it works with Apple Home, it also works with Home Assistant via the HomeKit controller integration. In Home Assistant, you're getting a lock entity, a battery entity, and all of the lock and unlock events that occur no matter where you trigger it from. Next, I tried to expose the Akara M2 hub via Matter to Home Assistant, and that worked and the lock did show up in Home Assistant, but again, all that showed up there was a lock entity and a battery entity. This means that any of the controls you wanna to do to the lock, like turning on and off, auto lock, things like that, that's all gotta be done in the app and can't be done in Home Assistant. Now, even though the lock supports Zigbee, 
I couldn't find any way to put it into Zigbee pairing mode and connect it directly with Home Assistant. And since the lock is so new, it's highly unlikely that it's been reverse engineered so that it works with ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT, but maybe it has, I don't know. Hopefully we can figure that out in the future because I'd prefer to connect this directly to Home Assistant with no other hub in between. But Bluetooth right now does work fine, although the response time is still quicker via the hub because Bluetooth is often slow. Overall, I think this lock is simple but effective, and if I saw the price correctly, it's around 150 US dollars, which is a decent price for all the features you get in this lock. I left the link for this lock in the description, so don't forget to use that if you want to buy one, because I'll get a little commission which helps out the channel, and it's no additional cost to you. Also, just for my viewers, Akara has given me a 20% off discount code, which I'll leave in the description. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the little overview and hopefully going over just some of the features gives you a little idea, but I hope I wasn't too long-winded in going over some of those features. Let me know what you think of this lock in the comments and get subscribed because there's another lock that they announced at CES that's coming out soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but if you want to see that, get subscribed. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.